This is Next Weather. Ooh, it's windy out there. Sure. Yeah. Open the door and it kind of <laughs> went flying, right. Ivan. We, our hinges are a little loose. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You know, and not just the wind, but, you know, we've been talking about showers for the first time in about an hour. We've been able to see the skyline now. We've had these uh, numerous showers coming in as we talked about northeast wind bringing that in. And it is gusting at the 20, 30, as I mentioned, 40 mile an hour wind gusts uh, earlier, just about a half hour ago across uh, Key Largo. We're at 74. So, you know, from South Florida, you step outside 74, 20, 25 mile an hour our wing us with uh, some rain and that feels cold compared to yesterday. We were in the 90s. We did hit 87, but we're on our way down. And in fact, tomorrow it's going to be a struggle to get to 80 degrees. I think we'll spend most of the day in the 70s and we'll spend a good chunk of the day, especially through the early morning hours with these showers you see here that are bringing those gusty winds and you can see some of them, you know, surviving the trip over to the coast. This little line here that just, you know, rolled in with some heavy rainfall from north of Miami. We got clipped here in downtown. Key Biscayne got some rain. And and that's not the last of it. We're going to continue to see these headed off to the south and west. The wind has now shifted everything towards our direction earlier today, north to south wind. Now we get that easterly component and everything pushes in. Look at the clock there, 4 or 5 a.m. You're up early with uh, Lisette, uh, and uh, that is going to be an issue as far as the uh, morning commute, but it'll improve as we end throughout the uh, early morning hours, and then by midday, we're looking good. Not that it will be completely sunny, but we'll have intermittent showers tomorrow, but at least we'll get rid of the, you know, heaviest stuff tonight and early in the day. Still windy through a tomorrow. We got those wind alerts we'll talk about and the showers will continue on and off. The weekend still looks good. We do have this disturbance that's going to roll in the, along with the front pushing north. That's going to increase our rain chances a little bit on Saturday. We could even get a couple of thunderstorms and then we'll get uh, back in uh, to dry weather as we head into Sunday and early next week. As we take a look at rain tracker for uh, tomorrow, you see through the afternoon improvement there. The wind is still going to be howling, but at least we'll get rid of most of the rain. It'll just be some intermittent showers and look at Friday looking pretty good here. The wind still gusty and then for the weekend in time for the weekend unlike the last wind event I do think the winds will begin to relax but look at Saturday morning there a few clusters of showers and even some thunderstorms through the afternoon that's that disturbance that's going to increase our rain chances the winds through tonight and into tomorrow between 20 25 30 and then we start getting into the potential for some 40 mile an hour wind gusts and that's for inland areas we got the wind advisory that continues across uh, our uh, eastern or our coastal counties here and then the coastal areas of our counties. And there you see the gale warnings there for the Atlantic and also a gale watch for the Keys. That means uh, winds uh, in excess of uh, 35 knots. That's going to be a big problem for a uh, boating. Obviously, don't want to do that in the next couple of days, especially small craft. 20% rain chance. I think we'll leave it there for your Thursday and uh, we'll bump things up a little bit for Saturday. Look at the rain chance there at 40, but then coming back down to more seasonable averages. But the temperatures, though, enjoy the cool down tomorrow. We're back to upper 80s beginning Sunday.